Before we get started with the actual application, I'm gonna show you guys what we're dealing with here. I've just done a thorough inspection and there's a couple of main areas that we're gonna be targeting. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that the main areas are always going to be in the kitchen. And the kitchen, as you know, is right there. But the pantry right here has also has some pretty good signs of roaches. They love hiding up in the corners right there. There's an adult, there's a baby one right there. It's German cockroaches, guys, and these are the roaches that infest kitchens, that infest houses, bathrooms, all kinds of stuff like that. All right, we're doing a roach service. Uh, the tenant just moved in here. I'm gonna talk to her. Is it okay if I make a video of Let how I up. applied the chemicals oh my, and yeah, stuff? Go ahead. And I'll be talking, is that okay? That's fine. Okay, thank you. Do you get a lot of this Oh, I'll get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm here in a residential home today, and it looks like the previous tenants had a pretty severe roach infestation, so we're here treating it. I'm going to use a variety of tools today. I'm going to be using some glue boards to monitor the populations. I'm going to be using a residual insecticide that I'm spraying around the baseboards and the surface areas around the house. The main product I'm gonna be using today that's gonna to provide a lot of long-term solution, it's actually a baiting dust. It's called Doxum Precise and it's made by CSI Pest and they're actually sponsoring this video. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use this very state-of-the-art technology to treat roaches with this Doxum Precise. And they love cracks around doors as you guys know. So they're just kind of running away right now. I haven't treated that area. We're gonna treat things like these electrical outlets. There's all kinds of roach droppings in these electrical outlets, which is crazy. It's going to allow me to treat into these sensitive areas because I definitely don't want to spray this with a liquid chemical. You can just come up to it and you give it a three second hold for a normal application or really just until the area is saturated. Actually, that one only took a couple of seconds. It's not a very big area, but that dust, see it floating around? That dust is going to settle into all of those cracks, which is incredibly handy for all kinds of appliances, like this refrigerator we're going to be treating with the Dachshund Precise. But on the other hand, the roaches I found up at the top of this pantry, if you take a look back up here, they've actually already scattered. I'm just gonna spray this residual insecticide on there and that's gonna offer some good long-term control as well. I'm gonna treat the whole house today and not just the kitchen. So the whole house has already gotten a general insecticide treatment. And then we target the kitchen, cabinets, bathrooms, appliances, stuff like that where the roaches normally hide. The most important thing to keep in mind when you're doing a roach treatment is that there's tons of great products you can use like the Doxum Precise, but the best thing to do for long-term cockroach control in your kitchen is to make sure that there are no food sources for these roaches to feed on. And that means you're gonna have to keep your kitchen extremely clean over the next few weeks. So, if you can- see, I didn't bring them in here. No, they were no, they were definitely here. here. So many droppings around the fridge. Yeah, um, so, so many little black sprinkles. Yep. I so- the hood, we do have, <laughs> we do have water bugs, but we usually check them with us. Yeah, <laughs> right. Have you ever seen Joe's apartment? Joe? Joe's apartment. Who's, who's Joe? Any Joe? Uh, Average no, Joe? It's uh, Joe Jones. He does Pictionary. Oh, then, wow. they went, then they went across the street and they took the park. And they... Right. I actually saw some antennas sticking out. Up there? Around. It doesn't surprise me. Well, they went away now. They still there. They just deep up in there. Oh, yeah. They'll, they'll get anywhere. See those antennas? Well, there's just one. One antenna sticking out right there. Oh, there's a roach. They'll hide along the crown molding, the baseboard. Anywhere they can find a spot to hide. The refrigerator is almost always one of the major spots, so. Yeah. Put that here. You gonna spray the dust? Yeah, we're gonna spray the docks and dust. Pay attention. <laughs> yeah. This way. Yeah, so uh, there's in the, in the own a few crawling, but all them. of this black dots, like that's not supposed to be there. Like it's supposed it's to look poop. like this. This it's is all poop. roach droppings, fecal matter over many months, maybe a year or more. But I'm gonna take this off so we can get it get it treated okay. better. It ain't helping nothing. But ooh, look at the pile right there. Yeah, that is really look bad. Pile. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. It's like there's just a hard line of the yeah. droppings. <laughs> I'm gonna take this outside. And there's actually not that many live roaches, just In there? lots of dead ones and droppings just 
everywhere. And I'm breathing that. Roach droppings can cause asthma. Asthma, yeah, I exactly. Told you I'm from the hood. <laughs> totally from the hood. These are Instead of spraying this with a liquid, you gonna put the powder. I'm gonna use the powder so it doesn't fry any of the electrical stuff or anything like that. Um, and it's really easy to use. You just turn it on, and for an area this big, I'm gonna treat it for about eight seconds, is what the label calls for. That's a pretty big area. Um, I'm gonna do it in a couple oh. squirts. I'm not gonna. And I, I it's, it's, look. Yeah. Daniel, we ain't got to worry about that. These, every time I put these bags of dog food out of here, they're wet. All that dust will settle into those I cracks. See, look, I'm gonna just hit walls. the baseboards, walls behind it. And they like, I up the wall, oh, shit. Look but that, that outlet look at right that. there. Oh yeah, I saw that earlier. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I don't know what might have been there to cause, but all those droppings, but yeah. they were definitely uh -huh. up in there. gathering there at some point. Yeah. Spray the back of the fridge, the just wood. surface. In between the wood. Yeah, yeah. One good thing is, is water bugs is not bed bugs. Yes, bed bugs. Praise the Lord. I bed bugs are much worse, in my I opinion. And we're gonna take the doxum back here around this outlet too, so I don't have to treat anything with the liquid. Perfect back there. Perfect to treat between the cabinets. There's always a void between the cabinets. I don't know if anyone knew that, but yeah, sometimes if I spray it. And I got hit by a truck on a moped here. Mm. I come from Nashville. What happened? I wasn't listening to Bruno. Br uh, Bruno Mars? Yep. I was oh. on my home page going to work. I worked at the Fairfield Marriott Hotel. And if I had Bruno in my ears. Another great place to use this is around like vents or microwaves yeah. built into the cabinets, but. Because that's electrical. I mean, that one's really. I see all the nastiness around there. There's a, yeah, there's a lot of gunk buildup. There's a good hole to get into there. There's all three of these. And this is actually a bait. The roaches will feed on it. Take it back to their friends. Take like their antennas and lick them. But I'm gonna go ahead and treat the cabinets with the liquid spray. Yeah, get them. The good news today is like, I haven't seen that many live ones. There's been maybe a couple dozen live ones, but sometimes I'll go in a roach job and see hundreds of live ones. It's just an older infestation, like maybe the roaches were here or maybe this apartment set empty for a while. Do you know if it did? No. And that would have caused the population to decrease if there's not many food sources or anything like that. You can actually tell that this unit has been treated for roaches before because see all that black line? That's actually old, that black line yeah. against the back there. Old. old roach bait. Another company has been in yeah. here. It's right. Yeah, and put the gel bait. I, I see this pretty often, just home remedies like baking powder or boric acid just yeah, the thrown acid around the works. cabinets and that's way even if this worked it's way too much i mean that's not going to do anything it's just gonna it's like a beach to the roaches oh wow <laughs> the cockroach is full of carbonic acid it'll kill the turtle too <laughs> and the turtle died oh no that's behind the stove it doesn't look too bad but all this does but all that yeah around see all the these droppings and just food particles building up Oh, there's a live one oh, right there. There's a, lot. there's a lot of poop and doop and whatever. Yep. Up in there. Trying to squeeze cut, into cut the crack. The so there's some voids back in there. I'm going to shoot the doxum. Put it on the roach directly. And uh, shoot the doxum in the leaves. Because they don't have to go back. In the back of the stove is a good place to put this too. And voids around the stove like that. All those roach droppings right there. Do it on the other side too. Told you he said he uh, has caught over 150 rats. Oh, that, that too. <laughs> but he said there's a. Well, last thing I'm doing is I'm gonna put out not all of these glue boards, I got too many, but probably five or six just around the house. It'll help us monitor and where I'll the hot them. spots are. Yeah, just leave them and it'll catch some and eliminate some too. So I usually put one in each room, so I'll just. Catch. Yeah, I'll just put one. Put that one by my bed. Against the wall there. Okay, put one by the bed over here. Right there. And I do like to put one on the countertops. Sometimes I'll put one over here and one over there. I'll put one on the ground next to the fridge here. So if any crawl out, they'll get stuck on it. Uh, I'm just gonna wrap up the video as we're walking around, but that was just a German cockroach treatment and it wasn't too severe but it's gonna take another treatment for us to come back. So we'll usually come back. Oh yeah, so <laughs> there's a rat hole 
Norwegian rat is the species, but we'll have to come back here in like three weeks normally <laughs> and do a follow-up service. So we will schedule time to come back and yeah. That's probably rats. Lots of cigarettes. So yeah. Is he friendly? Oh. He's friendly. But, but I think he's becoming protective of me. Oh yeah, it happens. <laughs> yes. Oh. Ah, you did it. I did it. <laughs> No! Oh yeah, it's gonna be in my car for the next week. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys next time.